Hey, what's up YouTube? Good morning. It is around almost 11 in the morning. It is April 17th and I just got showered and shaved and did my tea shot and I'm just getting ready to start my day. Waiting here back from my homie Muhammad where I stayed with my dad last night. So um, I wrote some lyrics last night and I can't wait for you guys to hear it and I'm just going to meet up with him and we're going to play around with it. So I will see you guys. So I just finished laundry guys and it's been a productive morning so I'm pretty happy with myself. I look really good and just it feels really good to be eight months on T. I do have to go to Calgary May 12th to meet my psychiatrist so hopefully I will find out about my top surgery and all that good stuff pretty soon so I will as always keep you guys updated and I still haven't heard from Muhammad so I'm just gonna probably go around touring the city and just look for hot spots where we can record a music video. So that's pretty much what we're doing today. I'm currently listening to Austin Mahone. Um, I actually really like him and I would love to work with him in the future depending on how my music takes off so see you guys soon. Hey guys we just finished work. Are you gonna get in the frame on? We just finished work. How was your day? How was, how was work today? It's today awesome. work was bullshit. First of all I had a girl that I've been talking to. Her fucking dad just ruined my day. Fucking ruined my day. But you know what? I was a little bit grumpy because we got no break today. No fucking break. Because, you know, fuck humanity and we don't deserve a break, I guess. So uh, we've just been... How many hours did we do? I did four. Too long. I had too long a shift with no fucking break. And we'd be eating bagels and timbits all fucking day. Like, come on. Like... I want some real food, like I want some like shawarma or shish te wook or something. We got bagels, nigga. Man, I'm I'm done with bagels. I'm I'm crapping out bagels. Seriously, I'm like crapping and fucking shitting out bagels because we eat so fucking much. But anyway, guys, uh, we have a lot of dishes to do, and a lot more bullshit to do. I need a smoke. We will see you guys soon. That doesn't sound good. No. Where the fuck are we? I don't even know. Holy shit, <laughs> the crackles, the hockey playoff thing is on the screen. We have horrible music playing in the background. And I have my Corona, which I, I like my I like my Corona. Because you know I'm on a diet, yeah. so I'm trying to cut back on beer, so I'm having this. And that's why I only drink whiskey. <laughs> True story, you know it's healthier, it's healthier. And I love how your hands are the only thing that I'm seeing. And I got my Corona. I'm put her up to see my face new. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, I like my Corona better. Yeah, the Corona's sexy. Hey guys, so we just had uh, Corona at Farside, um, which is like the college bar. Now we're gonna be chilling out with some Pootie Tang. We're gonna go to Ecstatic. It is ladies' night. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people ask us why we uh, wear our sunglasses in the nighttime. It's just because we, we high as fuck and we don't give a shit what anybody thinks about us, exactly, hey? Exactly, bro. It's the Arab way. That's what we do in Dubai, and now we're yeah. taking the Dubai heat to Canada. Yeah. So people be looking at us, but we don't really give a fuck. Nope. We really don't give a fuck. So yeah, we're gonna go off to Ecstatic, and we might, depending on security tonight, we might do the stripper experiment, where we're gonna record a video, and when the strippers come to us, we're gonna say, you're not my type, and just like be rude to her, and just see what the reaction is, depending on security <laughs> tonight, because it is ladies' night, so no promises, no guaranteed, but it's, that is something I wanna, yani, I wanna see what the reaction is gonna be. Because a lot of girls, when we be dancing with them in the club, they're like, oh, you're not my type. So, I wanna see how it is when we tr change the tables on the girls, yeah. when they come to us, and we say, oh, we're sorry, you're not my type, it's not gonna happen. Hell so um, yeah, right now we're gonna we're gonna go off to the club. I'll have a smoke, and um, like I said, we're gonna have a smoke, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that shit. And uh, yeah, I actually wrote some lyrics today. Sure, fucking sound like a countryman right now, dude. I don't know where my my light my my my. La, la, la. She said she la, 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 la. No, no, I I gave your lighter <laughs> back, man. Don't blame me for your shit. <laughs> yeah, um, man. Oh, dude, I found my lighter. I found one this is how white boys light a lighter. Nigga, blue in it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you light a lighter when you're white. Um, other than that, um, um, went to the studio this morning, and our next studio booking is sometime in May, where we're actually going to have uh, do the green screen shooting for the music video. Um, I'm currently working on a beat, and I'm writing some lyrics down. It's just a bit, a little, a little, a little. Work has been really hectic for us. It's been bullshit, complete bullshit today. And But anyway, we're not giving up on music. Um, we're going to proceed in working on that. And we are 
you know, contact people for this summer to start a tour across Canada and inshallah to the UAE and the Gulf countries. Um, sorry, America, I'm not ready for you right now. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm just, not I'm right totally, now. I'm totally messing with you guys. I love you guys. Um, but no, that, that is on our agenda. So yeah, um, we'll keep you guys updated and we will see you guys soon. Hey, so we picked up a girl. Oh, look at that. She's so like charming. No, she, she she don't look like she man. She drinking her coffee. Let's zoom in on that shit. Man, she hears she, you she's not me. even talking to you. That's kind of yeah. rude. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that 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 came out for the wrong end. All right, guys. Yeah, we're going to the club now. <laughs> hey guys, so we're clubbing in two different clubs tonight. It was pretty chill. What do you think? It's very nice, man. We had. A lot of beer, and we had some shots. We had Jaeger bombs, and our waitress gave us another shot, which was pretty cool. We met some amazing guys, um, and we're gonna probably go to an after party. We're just waiting for the message and the location. But how do, out of one to ten, how do you rate our night tonight? Tonight is like. 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. And my waitress, I'm waiting for her. I'm going to see if I can get her home. You know what I mean? She's pretty hot. I, I really like her. Like, I don't say that a lot about, like, a lot of waitresses. But, like, we come here, like, pretty much every day. And she's always treats me differently. She and, likes you. And she always, like, flirts with me. And so I'm going to I'm gonna ask her out and ask her for a number. And I hope that I'm lucky. So anyway, guys, we'll update you on that. But we had a good night. We were dancing. We met some people. And we had a pretty chill night. So peace out. You guys are so cute. You boogie, boogie, boogie. Ah. You guys are so cute. You're so cute. Oh, yeah. Gonna come up? Gonna come up? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Hey. Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Well, it's almost afternoon now. Um but yeah, I'm right now on my laptop. I'm messing around with Ableton, and I might go to the studio today. I don't know, I'm waiting to hear back from the guy just because we got a surprise snowstorm. I don't know what the fuck is up with that. Um, other than that, I had a really good night. I hung out with friends last night. Hung out with like five guys, and we we just had we had fun. Um, we watched a few movies. We went to McDonald's, and we saw like the most amazing shit. Like there was like this drunk guy. It was really funny. But update on me. Um, I'm sorry guys, I haven't been vlogging. I've been just really, I don't know. I've been like on T and just, I've been really thinking hardcore um, about everything where it's getting closer to both surgeries. Um, so I'm just like thinking about like life and where I wanna be and just like focusing on that. And um, I've come to knowledge that um, like I want to have a family and the thing is, I want to have like my own children, so I don't know if I'm going to get a surrogate, if I'm going to carry my own kid. These are things I'm thinking right now, and I, I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, are there, like, <laughs> guys willing, uh, anyway, I don't want to go into details, but um, that's just one thing that I've been wanting. Like, I want to have my own child before I go through everything. Um, because when I had my my thing done in the UAE, they d they did not remove my um, uterus or anything. Basically, what they did is they they attached something to the urethra or whatever, and that's what fell off. Um, it wasn't like the full on thing, just because it's illegal in the Middle East to do these procedures. Um, that's one reason why I'm in Canada. But anyway. Um, I don't know, I've been really thinking about like having a family and I don't know, I like to know from other trans guys, are you, are you wanting, like, are you going to adopt, are you going to, you know, um, so that's what I've been thinking about, but anyway guys, um, I'm going to just chill at home and probably talk to you guys later, but, um, holy shit, last night, um, we went out, I was, I was with like Gordon, Zach, Connor, 
Hamid and me, and we went to McDonald's, and there was a drunk guy, like I was telling you guys a few minutes ago, there was a drunk guy um, who was, like, banging the back door, and, <laughs> and like, he jumped over a fence, followed. he was drunk as fuck, and that guy was, like, on something, I don't even know, but he was definitely on something, and um, he goes to, like, the counter, and he was, like, insulting the, the poor, like, cashier girl at McDonald's and he's like well I don't need your low ass food and stuff like that and like everyone in it and I was like yo dude like that's not cool like be nice as and then like a lot of guys were like dude just leave so anyway he leaves he tries going to a bar like let's across the street um obviously he's like intoxicated he's smelling of alcohol like you could literally smell him like from across the room like smelling of alcohol so they're like sort like I wasn't there but Obviously, he was not served in the bar because he was drunk as fuck. And he tried fighting the bouncers. Um, next thing you know, like, everyone's, like, outside McDonald's, and this guy is getting the shit kicked out of him. Um, but he he deserved it. Like, he was, like, fighting girls. Like, he was literally going up and slapping girls, and that's not cool. Um, but it's, like, the weirdest fight I've ever seen. Um, by far, being in Canada, um, one of the weirdest. I don't know, he's, like... I don't know, he was pretty young too, but yeah, that was like our adventure of the night. We came home and we watched like The Hunt. That is a funny movie, I totally recommend that. If you've not seen that movie, you definitely should. But anyway guys, I'm just blabbing around, I really don't know. And anyway, the sun is coming, so I want to enjoy my day. So I will probably make another video on updates. I want to do another tea update on my transition channel. So anyway guys, I'm sorry, I'm kind of high. Peace out.